So you're going to start off by going to Prezi.com. This is where you'll either sign up or log in for your Prezi. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to signing it up. First, you want to choose public. Uh, it's absolutely free. So you'll click sign up now. And here is where you'll enter all of your personal information and sign up here. Or you may also log in with your Facebook, which is a little bit simpler for those of you who already have a username with them. New Prezi, and this is going to start the presentation. It's going to take a little bit to load because it's going to bring up all the templates that you'll be able to use for your presentation. Go through the templates that they offer and pick whichever one suits your presentation best. For right now, I'm just going to choose this first one because it's out of simplicity. So you choose it, and what it does is it begins to load. This is where you will be doing most of, if not all, of your work on your presentation. On the left-hand side are all of the slides that are on this page, and the right-hand side is what it looks like as a whole for the presentation. You will present, or you may undo, um, save your work, and share and even exit. You may also change the template at any time by selecting template, and change template here, and this is where you would begin to change the themes, which is the color of your template. So we could change it to coffee theme, and it'll change everything over into browns and some blues. So that's how it works. It's sort of like PowerPoint when it comes to customizing your themes. So we just click Exit, and what it does is it saves and closes the Prezi, and it brings you back to the main profile page. On this main profile page, you can go back into Edit It. You may also change the name of the Prezi, add a description. It'll tell you who it's by, and it'll even show you some recent Prezis that you've done. So in order to get to my Prezi that I'm going to be using for the presentation, I'm clicking on your Prezi's. Select Captain Mike's Prezi and we're going to open up this presentation and click edit. So this is the home page of the Prezi and again on the left hand side is the slides where you're going to edit and this is how the entire presentation looks as a whole. So the first slide is the whole picture and you can tell that by the number one on the side and if we click on the second slide it's going to move us to where the number two is which is this box right here so we'll click on the second slide and it'll zoom us into this slide right here this one i specifically set up to teach you how to add text to your prezi adding text is extremely easy all you have to do is double click and what it does is it opens up a text box and this is where you can begin to type so you can type any type of message you want and here is where you'll change the color. You can also make the font bigger or smaller. And you can also extend this arrow over, and this is where you may add bullets, where you can center the writing, indent it, um, even change the title, subtitle, body. Once you click off of it, you can still move it. When it has a blue box around it, this allows you to make it bigger, smaller. You may also rotate it when that bubble comes out on the side. You can delete it here, and you can grab it. So this is, allows you to move it all across the screen. Now we know how to add text, we're going to click on the third slide, which is where we're going to learn how to insert a chart. So what you'll go is up to Insert, and you click Diagram. And now here's where you can pick through a huge selection of charts and diagrams, and this is where I'll later show you where I added the timeline, but for now we're just going to click on this one to make it simple. So what it's going to do is it's going to add the chart, and what you can do is by grabbing the little hand in the middle, you're able to move it around the screen to where you want to keep it positioned. And by dragging on the blue square, you can make it bigger or smaller. And by double clicking in, it'll give you the availability to be able to type something. So, and what you do to come back out of the screen is you just double click on the slide and now you can see that it's here. Now that we have added a chart, we're going to go into the next slide, which I've set up as adding a YouTube video, where we will just select Insert YouTube Video, and you're going to paste a YouTube video link, which I gathered earlier. So once you have it pasted, you select Insert, and it places itself right onto the screen. You can use the little hand in the middle to move the video wherever you want, and if as long as it has the blue box around it, you can make the video bigger or smaller. Now that we've added the YouTube video, we're going to go on and I'm going to show you how to add images. So we're going to select slide number 5. And now there are two different ways you can add images on Prezi. The first way is by attaching it. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to Insert, Image, and you're going to select your file from your computer. So I already downloaded one earlier today so we can put it in. So we're just going to open it. The picture is going to load and we're going to be able to move it around by grabbing the little handprint in the middle and placing it. 
So now it's attached, we can move it around, and as long as it has, again, the big blue square around it, we can shrink it and make it bigger. So we'll put it right here. Now there's another way to add images, and what we're going to do is, I already pre-selected the little blue tab on the corner to be the second part. So we're going to double click on 6, and it's going to move us to this part. And now we can add pictures from Google. A cool mechanism that Prezi has that is unlike that of PowerPoint. So you'll select image like we did for the last slide, but instead of selecting a file on your computer, you search Google through this um, tab. So we'll just type in candy to see if it'll pull a picture up, and you just search here. What it's going to do is it's going to pull down as many pictures as Google can pick up with the word candy. So we'll just select um, this one for now. What it's doing is loading and processing. What you can do is you put insert. And again, just select it, make sure it has a big blue square. And you can move it and make it bigger. You can even crop it. And that's how you add a picture from Google. So from here, we're going to select slide 7, which will bring us over to the little stack of post-its. And here we are going to add a timeline. So you're going to go back into the insert, and we're going to go to where it says diagram. I'm going to scroll down until we find the timeline options 1 through 4. So what you would do is you just select it and you choose. And what it'll do is it will upload it. And what you can do is you move it again with the little hand and then you can make it bigger by stretching out the big blue box. What we're going to do is we're going to select slide 12, which is going to take us into the first box because it automatically added itself. So here we can put And what it does, because Prezi recognizes this as a timeline, it automatically sets up a path for it to move. So from slide 12, it's going to move us to slide 13, which is the next piece in the, the Prezi timeline. And so on and so forth, until it finally writes on every single one. And what you can do is use, you click on slide 11, which is the whole timeline. And now you have the whole thing. So this is how you create a timeline in Prezi. Slide 8, which is going to take us over to these little bookends. And here's where I'm going to teach you how to zoom in on specific spots of the Prezi PowerPoint. And this is pretty important, and it actually can jazz up your PowerPoint and make it a little bit different from everybody else's. So what you would do is you click frames and arrows and you click draw invisible frame and what you do is you draw an invisible frame about any part of the presentation that you want to be focused on. So in this instance we're going to draw a frame around this white square in the blue box. And what it does is it adds a slide to the end of the Prezi which we will move up so that it coincides and goes in order with 12 and 13. So we would click on 13, which would zoom us into um, this square, and then when we click one more over to number 14, it takes us directly into the box that we placed the rectangle on, and that is how you zoom. So we're coming to the end of the presentation, and this is where you um, will slide back up to the top and select the first slide, and this is where we're going to begin to watch the presentation as a whole just to make sure that there are no errors. So you select the first slide and you click present. So you want to allow full screen with keyboard controls.